So, I'm continuing my quest to the Broken Isles, and I'm about to do a quest that I have neglected, neglected for quite a while in the, in the quest order, where Meryl is just cuffing up his lungs out, and um, I have uh, Ravendwir, or what's his name, which is who, who is a Kirintor apprentice, and um, he has a quest for me. So, I believe this is part of the uh, quest order campaign, and um, we will begin it then. A covert operation. Your champion discovered some sort of powerful magic emanating from the secretive Imperian Society Enclave in Azuna. Archmage Vargoth asked me to request Meryl's aid in investigating it, but as you can see, Meryl is clearly too healed to travel at the moment. Would you be willing to go in his place? You will need to prove yourself in order to gain entrance. We should be able to find something sufficient in the 8 coil war camp in Azuna. So. Meryl. Please, get some rest. Conjurer, I hope to see you in Azuna shortly. It's a great day to practice. Yes, I think I will. Thank you for taking over for me. Well, he's already dead, so... Uh, one would guess that he is surely healed. Although, uh, the only way to, to cure that illness would be to burn him at the stake. <laughs> so we have the our teleportation nexus here and um, we will take take them and I, I still don't remember where I actually appear in uh... oh here it is we're we're actually not that far one thing that I that I've noticed in Legion is that the maps are not that uh, big. We can travel them. Um, I don't know. In a couple of minutes, we are from one, one from, from one corner to the other in the map. So they're they're big. The maps are big, but they're they, it is fast uh, to travel them around to travel through them actually and. Um, it's one of the things that I've noticed. That the maps, the maps are are big, but you can travel them. Um, you, you see, there. Are, I, I still, I'm still missing uh, Hike Mountain, which uh, by the name of the map itself, it says that well, there are mount mountains and countless peaks and other th and other things. So um, uh, Azuna and uh, Valshara. Um, they're, they're not, they're easy to travel, it's just uh, straightforward most of the time. So, oh, here, here we have the Impedian uh, something, Enclave or something that we need to infiltrate, as it seems. It, the name of the quest is a, a covert operation, so... Okay. Well met, friend. Good, you found me, Lefara. Prepare to be assimilated. The Imperian Society is a dangerous cult. They claim to study all magic regardless of its source, but in reality they focus mostly on the forbidden. They will welcome you to their enclave if you bring them a magical artifact. The Eight Kol Naga have found the perfect gifts, a pearl of work and wisdom and scrolls from the depths beneath the Narthalus Academy. You will have to convince them to part with a few. I will meet you on the road just north of the Imperian Enclave. Okay. So we must go around here, and uh, yep, just convince them very, very hard. I'm already killing 50. a lot of stuff that I shouldn't have to be killing. I'm already killing a lot of stuff that I shouldn't be killing. Fifty. 
50. Well, that's that's the uh, spite speaker that's that's calling those lightnings. All right. Then I only, only had one. It is only no the the male ones also have. Also, uh, can be in possession of the scrolls. One thing of the Naga is that it's only the females that have magical abilities. Uh, I don't remember any any of the males to have um, magical um, magical abilities. Only the female ones are uh, mostly uh, elemental abilities, as from from the shaman abilities. Oh, oh, and there's the the special one. And skip this one and this one. Let's see if she casts something. All right. Leveling with fire. Uh, it seems as of now. Uh, fire is one of the best uh, specs uh, overall. Uh, I mean, in dungeons, I even um, I, I even uh, dealt more damage than than people at the max level. And uh, fire uh, moonwalk, uh, no, not moonwalker, windwalker, and um, demon hunters seem to be the the best. Uh, or, or at least the ones that people uh, consider the most the most overpower uh, as of now. I don't know if, if it's the, the flavor of the month or something, but uh, yeah, fires. I, I I I'm enjoying to play fire a lot. It's awesome. We have the pearl of wisdom, of arcane wisdom, and now we are about to get some more scrolls. Oh, there's a scroll. Oh, that's that's not a max level scroll. Um, I've met some some max level scrolls in, in in these areas while, while I was low level, and it's not a, it's not a pleasant sight. They will kill you. You at least as a mage, I, you won't have much chance to to fight against them because they they just they simply do too much too much damage, and you can't. Um, I believe it's dragon's breath that doesn't work with them. I believe, um, and <laughs> they will kill you. Uh, you can't, you can't outrun them. I believe Frost Nova works, but then again, you don't have any other kind of slow uh, besides. Uh, I mean, even if you use, but then who will be wasting five minutes of that time just to kill us? A, a scroll. There's no reward, and probably you could kite them if you um, if you use Flame Strike, if you keep the the slow from the Flame Strike up all the time. So then probably you'll be able to to kill them but it's just too too tiresome to to do so for no little reward so uh, every time that i encounter the scrog at the level uh, 110 i'll just blink away invisibility and there we go there's no no point in you know and that when he when he gets to you he will blow you the shit out of you seriously these those are not to be trifled with definitely i'm already 110 as you can see here i'm simply leveling I, i've done the dungeons uh, that i've uh, had quests so far um that was the uh eye of ashara eye of ashara um darker thicket house of valor and uh, the violet Toad. so four Four dungeons. Guard while inside oh. the Empyrean Enclave. Always. But why the warning? Even experienced mages have an alarming tendency to disappear here. We could really use you in the Tiris Guard. Look, my favorite conjurer has arrived. Huh. So, I believe this Hello. one will be the one of our followers. A Zara Varinda. I trained to be a warrior when I was young. That seems like a lifetime ago now. I'm still pretty, pretty decent with the surf, though. Okay. Farewell. So you, you are a warrior mage. 
or uh, you possess some kind of, of both. Have you found the pearl and the scrolls? Good, now we should be able to enter the Imperial Society Enclave and have a walk around. We don't know much about the Imperial Society's activities here, but know that you appear to be a new recruit, you should be able to ask some questions and take a look around for a strange magic Archmage Vargoth detective. Let's meet up at the Rotunda on the hill. Take care, friend. Okay, so... Your friend is right. We should work together. Oh, she comes along with us. Nice. Uh, let's see if... Oh, she, she has such a strange name. Ravandweer. Let's see if he if he interacts with some of these. No, he doesn't. We simply well something uh, should have uh, a line actually to to introduce us to these, not just. Hello, have you come to join the Imperial Society of Exotic Magical of Exotic Magical Arts? <laughs> Have you come to join us? I hope you brought us something powerful to study. I brought you a pearl of arcane wisdom. What is it do you, what is it you do here exactly? Hmm, that is indeed interesting. We must we study Take exotic travel. magic oh Marwan must evaluate your gift before I can speak with you further. Farewell. Oh is that it? And she disappears. Hello. Okay. So this is the same line. We study that which give us the power to ascend. You must bring your gift to Marwan. So Let's get to Marwan. Where's Marwan? Marwan, Marwan, Marwan. What's this? Investigate the brazier. Let's just... Let's just complete the quest, the, the steps here. I brought you. So, mostly, they all say the same. Alright, it's all the same. Now let's investigate the brazier. I don't see anything unusual about this brazier. It looks to be in pretty good shape for something so ancient. That's about it. So Ravandu said meet him at the rotunda, but that should be the rotunda, right? Investigate the building. Oh, there's an ancient door. Oh, it's even Imperial Society headquarters. Hello. There's a travel room locking that door. Fell the Imperial Society should not be using such magic. Well, they say they. They say they study each and every um, kind of magic, so. Where's the rotunda? Oh, is it? Is this easy? Oh, that's here. Well, the green fire indicates for the use of fell. You up here. Hmm. Now that book warrants a closer look. Yep, and it's here, sitting all alone. Hmm. Oh, there's Marlon. Poor Kirin Tor spies. I'm just your as good with your soul. Now it is your turn. Marlon Blackfire. Fell Frostbolt. That's now that's something new. Greetings. Damn girl, <laughs> a void storm with her arc, uh, mixed with arcane. Yes. Now that's something you don't see every day. Oh, now she, now she has a. a, a an optional line. Why are you interested in the Imperial Society? I'm a bit of a mif misfit, to be honest. Most Sindorai are content to live out their entire lives within the confines of Silvermoon City. However, I found this stifling after so many years living on Draenor. I've never been one to hold my opinions back. When Grand Magister Romath asked me to leave and become the Magister Seeker of Wisdom, it was a relief for us both. I intend to discover if the Imperial Society possess possesses anything of use. What do you know about their activities? They are a secretive bunch and tend to speak in riddles, so not very much. It is known that they search the world for rare forms of magic to study, and this enclave may have may have found something quite powerful. I intend to discover whatever it is they are hiding. Keep your eyes open, friend. What is going on in here? They're using fell magic. I knew there was something off about them, but I never suspected this. Really? 
They study all kinds of magic. Seen that coming along for quite a while. So some knowledge shouldn't be shared. I noticed that quite a few of the Imperial Society's books are inscribed with fell magic. That's blasphemous. We must confiscate as many as we can. Knowledge is confiscate. Power. Shouldn't we destroy them? The next level has arrived. The Imperial Society is certainly much more dangerous than they appear. It is unimaginable that any mage would study fell magic. That's for Warlocks and the Legion. Since our friend Ravandir appears to be delayed, it looks like we'll have to deal with this ourselves. We should remove this sect so they can't corrupt anyone else. Oh, and now we'll start killing off everyone. Yes! Kill them all! Fell Empowerment. Oh, a polymorph! An OP polymorph. Okay. Fell Frost Vault. That's one done for. Hey! That's a mixture of a uh, wizard and a uh, rain of fire. Fell fire in this Your case. Friend is right. We should work together. One fell down. We'll just lay waste to this entire camp. Rune of opening. There we have it. And now we missed the... Uh, uh, but this is quite dangerous. The They're not trifling around. So we should be careful to not aggro that much. So... Damn, Polymorph can... Oh, the... the the, con the, the elemental is, an, uh, is considered a, a humanoid. Well, should be more careful with that wizard. The, the water elemental is in itself, as the name indicates, an elemental and not a humanoid that you can polymorph. Well, uh, in fact it is, but it shouldn't be actually. What's this? Damage? <laughs> Hey, it's damage. Fell empowerment Nothing only does damage. Indeed, there isn't. If you want to use fell magic, you should Burned consider yourself. My Die! Oh, it killed them. Now that's something new. A burning legion killed my family. Die! Fell, fell frost blizzard. No, that's a, that's. But that's that's it contradicts uh, somewhat with uh, with some of the lore that I've read because um, frost frost magic is actually uh, the uh, if you're inclined to be good or it depends on your alignment actually I believe uh, so if you use frost magic you are considered a good uh, good mage and if you use fire magic you sh you are considered a uh, uh, somewhat of a bad mage. Uh, you see, the the intent. It's not necessarily required to be good or evil, but uh, it's considered to. It's considered, I believe, from what I've read, that um, frost magic is uh, more benefic, or not uh, so destructive, and um, fire magic is, uh, uh, as I you can can guess. As you can actually guess, um, fire magic is more of, of a destruction tool, and um, it is considered that the mages that use a lot of fire magic could be tempted to to evolve onto fell magic. Um, so that's why how the warlocks um, began to use uh, fell fire, uh, the, the fell, I believe. Or mages uh, began to use uh, the fell because um, they evolved, or their their emotions, or I don't know, through a, wor a work of even another force or something, began to use um, fell magic and turning into warlocks. Um, at least on the on the side of Azeroth, and um, that's why I, 
it makes me have, have some confusion to see uh, Felfrost. It is, um, you see, they are opposites because Frost is supposed to be on the side of a more uh, balanced mage, uh, uh, a mage with cold, which applies cold logic and uh, not otherwise, and not the other way around. So having Felfrost Blizzard and Felfrost Bolt, it's kind of confusing to me. Um, I know, I know, I didn't sound uh, quite uh, sure of what I was saying, but I think I made my point. Um, you see, Fell is the ultimate power of of, of evil because it, it is powered by souls and suffering, while Frost is um, a school of magic that is used by cold thinkers and uh, people who are at peace. Yes. So and they, they don't uh, have much of um, oh how do I put it they don't have much uh, emotion put it into it when when casting um, frost frost magic so we have um, finished the the quests here some knowledge should be shared I hope we found all the all of the books you'd better take those back to the hall of the guardian for safekeeping I think we should destroy them but okay. The next level has arrived. Do you think we've reduced their numbers enough? Off the camp. I like you, FR. You don't hesitate to take action where ne when there necessary. And then, final exit. Interest. We've certainly reduced the Empire Society's numbers. I don't think they'll be worrying any more members to their cause for a while. There's only one place we haven't investigated, and I suspect that room we found is attuned to the door. Let's see what's inside the building. Knowledge is power. I'm actually cu curious as well. I'm actually curious to see what we what was left. What is what what no, not what is left, but what's behind the door. Oh, here we go. Oh no, Ravendweer. Noza, Blackfire, and. Where's Avendry? He's here? Is there? Archmage Vargoth will hear of this intrusion. What the heck? Who's not a Blackfire? Is Vargoth... Is Vargoth a, a traitor? After all this time? No way. A missive for Archmage Vargoth. For Archmage Vargoth. We can't read it. See with fell magic. Oh, Vargoth is a traitor! I, a I thought I'd snoop around a bit before I met you at the rotunda. Unfortunately, my invisibility spell wore off at an important, <laughs> an important time. I'm glad you found me. What is this? You have found, Lefar. Thank you for uncovering the truth about the Imperial Society, Lefar. Okay. I found it hard to believe that Archmage Vargoth would be involved with such a malevolent group. There must be a good explanation for why he's been here. Regardless, we had best return to the Hall of the Garden and inform Meryl about what we've uncovered here. What the hell, man? Vargoth is such an old, an I'll old. See you back in the Hall of the Guardian. Isara, you are welcome to join us there. I'll do that. See you soon. And there they go. Oh, there's a, a back opening. Okay. So, Archmage Vargoth is um, is quite an old character. He appeared in first in the, I believe, in the the Burning Crusade in Netherstorm, trapped within a, within a tower as the only survivor of the Kirin Var village or town um, that was attacked by Keltas and his and his followers. So, um, we then met him at the in Draenor. Uh, as an image and a follower, and now what? He's about—he's a traitor. He uses fell magic. What the heck? Well met. Oh, there's another yeah. another quest, but we have to first to finish this one. Where's Archmage Vargoth? I believe he was around here somewhere. Oh, let's see. Damn, Archmage Vargoth, a traitor. Who would tell? Thank you yeah, for coming there. so quickly. He's declining. Always. Oh, this illness is magical in nature. You were right to summon me, Ravensbury. 
Oh, he is really in pain here. Reverend Reese speaks very highly of how you dealt with the Imperial Society, Lefara. Oh. I even want to something. Oh, and there's, there's a lot more quests now. Are you as excited as I am? Oh, we have uh, Ravendwin now. I have been Archmage Vargo's apprentice for far too long. Perhaps it is time for me to serve a new master. Damn, Meryl is very sick indeed. So, I would be honored if you would accept me as a champion, my father. Well... I would be too. I mastered a new spell. Your deeds are quickly becoming talk of the hall, if I am proud to serve as your champion. Greetings. <laughs> oh, and we have uh, a Zara Verind as well. You and I have proven to be quite successful together. I'd be happy to lend you my swords and spells against the Burning Legion anytime, my father. Well. Thanks for joining. Do you enjoy traveling, my father? As the Magister Seeker of Wisdom, I'm on the road quite a bit. I find it strange that most Cinderai dislike it so much, but, that, that, but then I am not like most Cinderai, as they never fail to remind me. <laughs> Keep your eyes open, friend. All right, so Meryl has the quest for the for the for the last um, for the last quest of for, of the artifacts, but I will uh, I will stop it here, uh, stop recording here, and I'll continue just just following this one. Uh, to uncover the why why exactly Vargoth has betrayed us, or if even he is possessed, I don't know, by a dreadlord or something, is an old file, so um, as the oldest they go, uh, the harder they will betray us, right? Well, that's what I think. Well, let's see, and uh, I'll uncover uh, what is afflicting Mario uh, in the next video. So uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you around. See you later.